Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Mikhail Botvinnik and Lajos Portish. This game was played in Monaco in 1968. Botvinnik had white pieces and he started with c4, English opening. e5, knight to c3, knight to f6, g3, d5, c takes on d5, knight takes on d5, bishop to g2, attacking the knight, bishop to e6, knight to f3, attacking the pawn on e5, knight to c6, defending, Botvinnik castle kingside, knight to b6, d3, bishop to e7, a3, a5, preventing b4, bishop to e3, portish castle kingside, knight to a4, knight takes knight, queen takes knight, bishop to d5, rook from f to c1, placing the rook on semi-open file, rook to e8, rook to c2, with the idea to double the rooks on the c file, bishop to f8, rook from a to c1, and black played knight to b8, inviting rook takes pawn on c7, should white take the pawn or not, what do you think? Well, Potvinnik did. He captured the pawn on c7. Bishop to c6. It looks like that black is winning material. What do you think? It is white to move. How should white continue? What would you do? Potvinnik captured the bishop on c6, b takes on c6, what now, why to move, what would you do, if you wish you can pause the video and you can try to find the best move for white, is it rook to b7, Botvinnik played rook takes pawn on f7, did black capture the rook, no, black played h6, why not? What's wrong with king takes rook? Let's have a look. If king takes on f7, then check. And after king to g6, well, is queen to d5 possible? Let's have a look at queen to d5. If queen to d5, then knight to g5, check, winning the queen. So perhaps black will play king to g6. Then queen to e4, check. King to f7, check. King to g8, and there is checkmate in one. This is just one line. Okay, so it wasn't safe for black to capture the rook. And we have h6, rook to b7, queen to c8 attacking the rook, check. King to h8. It is white to move. How should the white continue? Perhaps to save the rook, rook to f7 comes to mind. But Botvinnik played knight to h4, sacrificing the rook. And Portish captured the rook with queen. Knight to g6, check. King to h7. Bishop to e4. Bishop to d6. Discover check, g6, bishop takes on g6 check, king to g7, white, play the move and black resigned, what is the move, what would you do, this is the move, bishop takes on h6 and black resigned in view of this continuation, king takes bishop, then check, king to g7, 
check. King to f6, perhaps. Knight to g4, or taking queen immediately. Let's go for this one. Knight to g4, check. And then king to e6. And, well, white can simply take the queen and we can stop here and let's go back to this very important part of the game it was in this position that Botvinnik so to speak fell in a trap on purpose just to outsmart his opponent by looking deeper into the game and he played rook takes and c7 what a brilliant mind and that is all I hope that you enjoyed watching this video I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.